Hey there! To those who are new to Hostinger, today I'm going to introduce one of our most essential features on HPanel, the File Manager. Follow along to learn how you can use it for easier website management. Let's get to it. A file manager is a tool on your control panel which serves to, you guessed it, manage your files. With it, you can organize your website files without an FTP account, SSH, or other third-party software. Plus, a file manager comes with a user-friendly interface, so it's super simple and efficient. What's more, Hostinger's file manager has bonus features to make it even more intuitive. To access it, go to HPanel and click the Website tab. Choose the website that you want and select Manage. You'll be taken to your site's dashboard where you will see the file manager menu. Now that we're in this file manager interface, I'll take you on a tour of the elements on the page. Hostinger's file manager interface has three sections, left menu, file management area, and top menu. Let's take a closer look at each one of them. The left menu contains the My Files selection at the top. This lets you open the file manager's root folder, which is the interface that we're seeing right now. Then we have the new folder and new file buttons, a handy way to create folders or files in the current directory. We also get the trash bin, which lets you see any deleted files similar to how it works on your computer. The numbers below are your site's storage metrics. Space indicates how many resources you've used within the server, the same as with disk space on your computer. Meanwhile, iNodes are essentially the number of files and folders you have. Finally, we have settings that allow you to change your file manager options, such as its language. Moving on to the center of the page, we'll find the file management area. Here we can see our files and folders, which we can manage with the buttons we've already covered. Or we can simply right-click them to access the shortcuts, such as deleting, editing, and renaming. Here we will also see the file manager navigation, which shows you where you are and lets you move around the directories quickly and easily. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the top menu, featuring shortcuts for downloading, uploading, and other advanced features. If you have a file or a folder selected, the selection will also include the shortcuts for the right-click menu. Easy, right? Now let me show you how simple it is to actually manage your files and folders. File Manager allows you to change and organize your files with a click of a button. Even if you've never used any similar software before, you'll be able to create, upload, download, rename, and move your files and folders with ease. Let's take a closer look at how to create files and folders. First, go to your desired directory, navigate to the left menu, and click on your option. Then simply enter the file or folder name into the box and click Create to confirm. Now, every time you create a new file, don't forget to specify its name and extension, for example, yourfile.php. The file type will automatically change depending on the extension that you give. To download or upload a file or folder, navigate to the top bar instead. Here, click the download arrow icon to download the selected file or folder, and if you want to upload something from your device, you're looking for the upward arrow instead. As a shortcut for uploading, you can also drag and drop items from your local computer to the file management area. To copy, delete, rename, or move files and folders, simply right-click them and select the action from the menu. Now, I recommend unchecking the Skip Trash Bin box to avoid accidentally deleting any important files. This way, you can easily restore them in case you need them later. Now that we know how easy managing is, let's take a look at how to edit your files. Our file manager has a built-in text editor that lets you edit files directly from the page you're on. Forget downloading files to edit them locally. Everything you want to do, you can do within the file manager. If you think that's neat, wait until you see our syntax highlighter feature. We don't want to send users back to the notepad days. Our text editor is fully equipped to highlight your code and help you out with any errors or pesky typos. To start editing, simply right-click a file and select Edit. In the editor itself, feel free to modify the code and click the disk icon on the top right to save the changes. Then click the X button to exit the window. Since we're in the file management area again, let me show you how to use the advanced features. Our file manager has several neat features for advanced users. While they aren't essential, they're beneficial for streamlining certain tasks. These include the bulk actions, which let you manage multiple files at a time, such as deleting, moving, or even archiving them into a single zip or tar file. 
Select your files with either the check mark icon on the top menu or the control or command keys, then simply apply the action you want and it will work for every file that you've selected. Next to the check mark icon, you'll also find the directory info menu if you want to see the file size of an item or what its last modification was. Plus, if you select a directory, this feature will also show the number of inodes it takes up. Next, we have the search function which lets you look up any files or folders by name. You can also filter the types of files to search, such as images, audio, videos, or PDF files. And if you work with multiple site administrators, you can set the viewing, editing, and execution rights in the permission editor. And that's all for the advanced features. They're simple to use and can get your site running in no time. So be sure to check them out. All right, I've gone through everything you need to know to start using Hostinger's file manager. So go ahead and try it out. And let me know in the comment section what did you like about it most. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and share it with your friends. And also, make sure to subscribe to Hosting Your Academy's YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos that we publish every single week. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.